Hello and welcome to my video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own website and get hosting for free. Now it only applies to static websites, so basically anything where no one can send information through forms or anything like that on your website. We're going to be using a GitHub to host us and then you can use any domain. So I would recommend you buy your own domain because it's just more professional. So you can find domains anywhere really. So, Hostinger is one. Hostinger is the one I got because there was a free offer. On. Here you go. So, look. Dot online, dot store. It goes all, lots of different ones. Dot net, dot website, dot fun. And so basically, if you've got a, an unusual name, it's going to be cheaper. But here, because they've probably seen my YouTube channel and they've put the prices up for that. So, once you've got this, you can then go into the domain settings in Hostinger and change it to point to GitHub. But that's more on that later. So first, to start off, I recommend you go to this website. Now, this is ServerPress, and basically it makes a kind of local website on your computer rather than doing it through a hosting provider. But you do it offline and then upload to GitHub, which I'll show later. So you download this and then get it installed as normal. Right, just normal installation. I'm, I'm sure you know how to do it. And then you open it up. I haven't started it before. So this is what will happen when you first start it. You get these options. Now you can just leave all these to default, really, unless you're doing anything more. So it starts a server. It's going to pop up with lots of user account control. You just click yes to all them all. So that's done. Click next. And right, we want to make a new website. So let's go next. And look, so it's already got a blueprint for you. So it's got WordPress. Yep. So I'm going to call mine my YouTube channel. Yep. And it's going to save that. You can put it anywhere you want, but I'm going to keep it there. So that's where your local website will store all of its files. Okay. So great, that's done now. So if you click next, you'll get a link. This link is very important because you won't be able to get anywhere. So once you click the link, you're gonna, it's going to ask if you want to install WordPress. And of course, you want to install WordPress. So I'm going to go English UK. Set up your title. Whatever username you want to do. Um, make your own password up. So... Um, Put your email in and then install WordPress. I'd recommend saving this now because when you come here, you want to log in and it will get this every time. So, right now you're on the admin screen of the WordPress site. So, I recommend bookmarking this and saving it to the bookmarks bar because then you won't be able to get it back. Okay, so the next thing is. What do I want to do? So just make your website as normal. And I usually, well, let's update WordPress first. It only takes a while. So yeah, there we go. WordPress now installed. So I want to install a theme. Let's just make it a, a nice blog. No, no, most common thing is, so if you want to add new, signify, most common one, signify. Install that. Yep, activate it. Remember to activate it. If we just look at a normal website, so if we just take that front bit without the WordPress and we put in, this is the basic blog of your website. And you can edit stuff like that. So I could edit this, I could say, let's edit this, put in my YouTube site etc. Just do the standard editing with WordPress. Hide that. Yeah, so there's nothing there. Yep. Yeah. Um, and you just publish it. So once you've done all your editing offline, you got your you are very certain that it's saved because it's saved locally. It's saved in that folder that you've already saved that you set up at the start. So when you're happy with that, <clears throat> it's not actually on the internet yet. So how do you do this without having to pay for hosting? So GitHub is really good 
because we can use that to host our website. So let's go and plugins. Now, usually you'd search here static websites converter, okay? And there's a few tools, simply static. You can't install this one on here because it's a local version. And there are a few others, but it doesn't, they don't work. So what you're gonna have to do is upload plugin here, choose the file, and then I'll upload a zip. It's called static HTML output. So if you open that, install it, it's a zip file you have to go, directly upload the zip file. So it's installed, activate it. That's great. So it's working, yeah? So you've got WP2 static, and now on the sidebar, you've got WP2 static here. Now I did try with, on the WP2 static settings, try GitHub pages, but I found this doesn't work for some reason, but it's a nice, easy workaround. So you do select subdirectory and local server, and then this is the very important bit. So destination URL. So if you go to your GitHub, make sure you've got a GitHub account. So you go to your repositories, yeah, make a new repository, call it something like my website thing, description doesn't matter, add a readme file, very important, create repository, now you want to make a new branch, code lock, <clears throat> you go in the main, create a new branch, call it gh-pages, Make a new one under main, but you don't want it under main. So you've got to go to settings, branches, and then you want to change that default branch to GH pages. Update that. Yeah, I understand. GH pages is now the main branch. So you have to go back to the code page now, go into the two branches, and then delete the main branch. That's it. So now if you go settings, pages, this is it. So this is the link you need to use so everyone else's will be different. So basically you want to, if you open that, look, there's nothing on it. So you really you want to copy. So when you're on this page, you want to copy this whole thing here. Remember the S is important. Put it here. Everyone's going to be different here. So it depends what account and what name you've got. But effectively, keep the S because the HTTPS won't work when you later try and enforce HTTPS if you put HTTP, okay? Now, if you've got your own domain, you want to change that to your own domain with the S. So let's say I want to pstasio.com. I put it like that, yeah? And uh, if I just undo that. Yeah, so you've done that. Press the start, start, start static site export and usually takes about two minutes. So if we just wait for that. Okay, so we can see it's done. So now we know what's going on. If we now go to this directory here on Windows, so get Explorer and open it up. So I'm here, look, so I've saved it as version one. And version one is here. So that is the website we've just made in WordPress local, but it's converted everything into a static website. So basically every page is a HTML, so it's nice and easy to read for GitHub. Now what you want to do is you want to install GitHub Desktop next. Just Google GitHub Desktop. Yep. Just download it, install it, and then once you've got it installed, it, it might ask you to log in, so you just log in as normal. And then you go back to this online website, and you go, code, open with GitHub Desktop. Now this will open the repository in the GitHub Desktop. And so that's the repository. And then this is the local path. So this is where do you want to save it? So mine's in the documents under the GitHub folder. And it's under the P 
um, YouTube channel name. Um, so you just clone it. And if I just open up that web, see this? So you can see the re readme here because it's downloaded it. So if you just fetch it again, yeah. So effectively, this folder is now synchronized with GitHub um, through the GitHub desktop application. So if you go back to the directory where the static website is, so that's the sites folder and whatever version you call it, you can simply just copy these, paste it in here. Remember, never delete the git dot git folder if you've got hidden files turned on and the readme file you can get rid of that's just to initialize and also the fav icon is all currently set at wordpress and um, you can also check you can change that to any icon you want so when someone loads up your website you can have a little icon of your business or anything like that <clears throat> okay so this folder has been full up so now we need to synchronize it so go back to github desktop it's had a look, look, it's seen all the different files that are changed. And what you want to do is just call your commit, like what, version 1 or something. Press commit. And then push it. So if you press push origin, it's going to upload everything to GitHub. So now if you go back to GitHub, you go back to the code, all of that has been uploaded okay so those are the website files so in theory it should now work no problem so if you go settings pages look if you go in your internet on that website it might take a while so at first it may not work if you click on it been about five minutes you see it's uploaded here look hello world and it's all working and you look you're successfully on github okay so what about if you want a custom domain so once you've bought your domain whack in your domain here so put in like something like that yeah um you would click save but uh, before doing that I would recommend you go into the hosting. So if I go to the domain, my domain settings, set the name servers to default. Yeah, so if you change it and then use the default ones, and then you've got to add five different records. So first is this. I'll put this in the description. But effectively, you've got to make a new record A at, and then that, A at that, A at that, A at that. It doesn't matter what this value is here, um, but those are the most important. And then you've got to change your C name. So you do www, and then you do your GitHub site. So your username.github.io. So you'd add, add a new C name, www, and that's it there. So it might take about 24 hours to work. Um, once that's done, click save here it will do a check up it will connect it all remember to click enforce HTTPS and then your website will be live that this link here will change to whatever link you've got here and that's how you get your site now if you make an edit to your local copy of your page and um, all you have to do is you do your edits you do another start static site export but call it something else this time put it in a different folder put call it version 2 press static site export go to that directory there wherever it would be so sites and then version 2 copy all them and then paste it into the github go to the github it all populates here commit version 3 commit and then fetch and then um, it will, that will change the push, sorry. So, I hope that's helped you get free hosting for a static page. But remember that all the, some of these steps, such as the changing the name, um, the C name and the A at on the name servers, it may take 
up to about 48 hours to update before it starts working. But if you're just happy with the GitHub, then it'll work pretty much straight away. Maybe just a five minute wait. Once you've committed your static page files to GitHub, it'll be live. And then you can express what you want to the world. This video took a lot of research to get put together. So could you please like, subscribe, and please comment some feedback.